just going to talk very quickly about uh, Medtronic sensors or continuous glucose monitors. My son is two years old and he has uh, N-Light sensors and he has been using them for about two or three months now. Um, it took a while to get them to work but um, we found a, a nice flat piece of flesh on his thigh and uh, that's where we sight the sensors because he's so little you need somewhere very flat um, for them to work. If we have a look here this is the, the sensor part, this is the part that gets changed every six days because that's usually how long the sensors last. This is the transmitter which uh, transmits the readings from the sensor about every five to seven minutes to the pump. He has a, a Medtronic VO pump and this is the charger unit for the transmitter so if I want to charge it up I'll put it in here and it takes about 20 minutes to charge it up uh, and you can sort of take it off you know when the sensor's been inserted in the skin and charge up the transmitter but you shouldn't have to do that for six days I've never had to so um, these are the end light sensors and um, if I show you the sensor part here again this is one that's been taken out of him um, you should be able to just see here uh, very if I could do a bit of a close-up that's sort of fine piece of strip there underneath is the sensor part and the sensor it should be sort of uh, 90 degrees but because I've just taken it out it's a bit um, bent um, but the sensor part's right at, uh, or near the bottom of that, um, whereas with the soft sensors, the previous sensors that Medtronic um, had, which is still in production apparently, um, the, the actual sensor part that tests um, the cell glucose is, uh, is a lot closer to the top here. Um, anyway, these, this is the part that gets inserted into the skin, and um, once you've inserted it into the skin and left it for about 20 to 30 minutes um, to wet you then put the transmitter in like that and um, put the flap over there and once that's done um, two hours later you can just see it flashing there that's what that's supposed to happen um, and that's that's trying to talk to the pump now um, it will basically um, take two hours to warm up and then after two hours the pump will beep and ask for a blood glucose reading and you do that and it, you calibrate the sensor and then the sensor should pick up and follow the blood glucose for six days. 